This is the iMac 21.5 inch late 2009. A 15 year old iMac with the following specifications. 3.06 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor. 4 GB of 1067 MHz DDR3 memory. 500 GB of HDD storage. NVIDIA GeForce 9400. 256 megabytes graphics and running Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.6. Today I will be working on upgrading this 15 year old iMac to the latest Mac OS Sequoia 15.0 with the help of OpenCore Legacy Patcher, which is a free patching software that makes it possible to install the latest Mac OS on select Mac devices that are no longer supported by Apple. If you intend to upgrade an unsupported Mac device like I will be doing here, there are some things you need to put into consideration. First, visit the Dortania Open Call Legacy Patcher website and head over to Supported Models. Here, you will find out if your unsupported Mac is supported by OpenCore Legacy Patcher or not. I head over here and find out that my iMac 21.5 inch late 2009 is supported by OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Another useful step to take would be to take a look at the Mac OS support page on the Dotania website. This page will inform you of the known issues associated with the Mac OS you want to install for select Mac devices. On this page for Mac OS Sequoia, I noticed that my iMac 21.5 inch late 2009 has issues with USB 1.1 support and the current non-metal GPU. The USB support issue is resolvable with the use of a USB 2.0 hub, which I have here. While the non-metal GPU can be upgraded to a metal GPU if desired. I will not be upgrading the GPU in this video. However, in a bid to improve the usability of this 15-year-old iMac, I decided to upgrade the storage from the current 500GB HDD to a 256GB SSD and the memory from the current 4GB RAM to the maximum 16GB of RAM. If you are interested in how this upgrade was done, kindly check in the video description. Both upgrades are carried out and I am now ready to proceed with the installation of Mac OS Sequoia 15.0. My intention here is to perform a fresh install with an OpenCore Legacy Patcher installation USB. For this, you will need to use a USB device of at least 16 gigabytes in size. It is advisable to carry this out on the Google Chrome browser, not the Safari browser. And necessary that the installation USB is created on the Mac device you desire to upgrade or another Mac device of the same model. Doing so will keep you from experiencing errors during the installation. I head over to the Dotania OpenCore Legacy Patcher website and click on Download and Build Mac OS Installers. Under Downloading the Installer, I click on OpenCore Legacy Patcher Release Apps. The latest version of OpenCore Legacy Patcher as at the time of this video is version 2.0.2. .2. I scroll down to Assets and click on OpenCore-Patcher-GUI.App.Zip and the download begins. When the download is completed, I double click to extract the app and I proceed to install it. I click open when this pops up and enter the system password when prompted. When the installation completes and the app opens, I connect the USB to the iMac and click on create Mac OS installer. 
I select download Mac OS installer, select Mac OS Sequoia and click download. I get this warning about the potential issues associated with installing Mac OS Sequoia on iMac 21.5 inch late 2009. I select download anyways to give it a try. The download and USB install media creation lasted for 80 minutes. I get this message when the creation is completed and I select yes to install open core to the USB disk. I click install to disk and select the USB and EFI partition to proceed with the installation. After a few seconds, I am prompted to reboot the iMac to complete the process. I also proceed to create a USB installer for Mac OS Monterey as a backup, just in case the installation of Mac OS Sequoia fails. The installation media creation process for macOS Monterey is similar to that of macOS Sequoia. The process of creating an installation media for macOS Monterey lasted for about 73 minutes. And I am now set for the fresh installation of macOS to this iMac. I connect the installation USB for Mac OS Sequoia and the USB 2.0 hub holding the mouse and keyboard to the iMac and I power it on while holding down on the options key on the keyboard. I select this option to boot from the installation USB for Mac OS Sequoia. On this option page, I select Dix Utility and click on Continue. I select View Menu in the top and click on Show All Devices. I select the SSD storage and click on Erase. I name the SSD storage and leave the format as APFS and the scheme as GUID Partition Map and I click on Erase. I close Dix Utility and select Install Mac OS Sequoia and I click on Continue. I click Continue to proceed. I select Agree and select the SSD storage and click on Continue. The installation begins and runs for about 15 minutes before encountering this error. Encountering errors like this during the fresh installation of a new Mac OS with OpenCore Legacy Patcher is not uncommon. Thankfully, I have an installer for Mac OS Monterey through which I can still proceed to achieve my goal of installing Mac OS Sequoia on this 15-year-old iMac. I power down the iMac and connect the installation USB for Mac OS Monterey to continue with the installation. I follow the same process as earlier to arrive at this page. I proceed to Dix Utility and I erase the SSD storage once again before proceeding to select Install Mac OS Monterey and continue. I select Agree and select the SSD storage and click on Continue. The installation begins and runs for about 60 minutes with the iMac restarting a couple of times before landing on this page. I proceed to quickly set up the iMac and open the OpenCore Legacy Patcher app and run the OpenCore Legacy root patches. I get a prompt to install OpenCore Legacy Patcher to the SSD and I accept to do so before rebooting the iMac. 
the system reboots and I safely eject the installation USB for Mac OS Monterey. As you can see, this is the same iMac 21.5 inch late 2009, now running Mac OS Monterey. I head on over to System Settings and select System Update. I see that I have an available update for Mac OS Sequoia 15.0 and I proceed to click on Update Now. I click on Agree and the download begins and lasts for several minutes. When the download completes, I click on Upgrade Now and the installation progresses. This installation ran for several hours overnight and I came to realize that it was stuck and no longer progressing. I decided to power down the iMac and power it up again. The installation resumes and runs for 3 minutes before landing on the system login page. I log in and realize that the desktop wallpaper is missing. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are also down. I open OpenCore Legacy Patcher app and run the OpenCore Legacy root patches. After running the patch and rebooting the iMac, the desktop wallpaper is restored. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are also restored. The system functions quite well for a 15-year-old computer and I am able to watch YouTube videos, connect a Bluetooth keyboard, and change the desktop wallpaper to pictures. Yes, it's not perfect and does have some operational bugs, but it is still usable. If you are interested in how usable this iMac could be, check the video description for a video I made on testing a similar iMac I upgraded to Mac OS Sequoia 15.0. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye for now.